God says, Micah, he has told you, O man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you but to do justice, love kindness, and walk humbly with your God? Micah summarizes the essence of God's expectations for his people, emphasizing justice, kindness, and humility. Nahum, the Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. He knows those who take refuge in him. This verse assures us of God's goodness, protection, and personal knowledge of those who trust in him. Habakkuk, though the fig tree should not blossom nor fruit be on the vines, the produce of the olive fail and the fields yield no food, the flock be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will take joy in the God of my salvation. Habakkuk expresses unwavering trust and joy in God, even in the midst of difficult circumstances. Zephenia, the Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by his love. He will exalt over you with loud singing. This verse depicts God's love, salvation, and joyous delight in his people. Haggai, the latter glory of this house shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts, and in this place I will give peace, declares the Lord of hosts. God promises that the future glory of his temple will surpass its former glory and declares his intention to bring peace. Zechariah, Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, daughter of Jerusalem. See, your king comes to you, righteous and victorious, lowly and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. This prophecy foretells the humble entry of the Messiah, Jesus, into Jerusalem. Wallachi, bring the full tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house and thereby put me to the test, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven for you and pour down for you a blessing until there is no more need. God challenges his people to be faithful in giving and promises abundant blessings in return. Acts, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Support our community and donate us through super thanks. Matthew. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Jesus teaches the importance of living a life that reflects God's goodness and brings glory to him. Mark. In calling the crowd to him with his disciples, he said to them, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Jesus explains the cost of discipleship, emphasizing the need for self-denial and a willingness to follow him wholeheartedly. Luke, and as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. This verse, often referred to as the golden rule, teaches us to treat others with kindness and fairness. John, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The opening verse of the Gospel of John establishes the divine nature of Jesus, the Word made flesh. Support our community and donate us through super thanks. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.